So today's video is a surprise review and I'm going to be reviewing the Ohuhu paint markers. So if you guys don't know what paint markers are, basically they are markers which in instead of water-based or alcohol-based ink, they have acrylic paint instead. So as you can see here, acrylic paint marker and these are by Ohuhu, the same brand whose alcohol markers I use. So I wanted to make a review on these because these are really popular and I really want to give these a go. Um, people usually use Posca's, which I'm going to put up on screen right now. Um, they are the high-end quote-unquote of paint markers, but they're really expensive and I wanted to give these a go because I know Ohuhu is really trusted. So I've decided to give these a try. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'll open myself a nice fresh page, fresh page here. And I'm going to test these markers out. So uh, I read over the instructions and basically, by the way, these are the instructions that come with it. You can take a moment to read them if you would like. But basically what the general instructions are is that before you use them, you need to shake them to loosen up the paint. Once you've shaken it, shaken it, shaken it, um, you will notice that the ca that the actual nib of the paint pen is completely white. Um, so you need to pump the basically pump the barrel of the marker to let the paint out. And usually, I found out that with about ten pumps, you can get the paint to work. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh. Oh, okay. So eventually, yes, I did get the paint out with the 10th pump and as you can see they're extremely opaque you can write with them one thing i wasn't expecting when i bought them was the nib is actually quite fine like i expected them to be quite like i expected the nibs to be really fat but they're quite fine so this is really good if you're into like you know rock decorating rock painting uh like painting glass and stuff like that it's really good for fine details so I'm gonna swatch all of the After swatching all 40, I mean 39 of the colors, I realized that um, the black marker doesn't exactly work like, okay, let me just show you guys what I mean. So I've, okay, this is something else. I've, I've pumped it like a lot and no matter how, like I've, sh you can hear it shaking. So the paint is clearly there, but when you go to pump it, like literally nothing comes out. You can see that it's reached to the edge, but not to the tip. So the tip is completely dry, but like if I try to like get some paint off the edge, I can. But for some reason, the paint just does not reach the tip. Um, the set actually comes with extra tips as well. So I thought in case the nib doesn't work, I replace the nib, but it still doesn't work. So this is one con that my black paint marker just does not work. Oh 
And there we are done with the character for today. Um, I really like how it looks. Um, uh, I, the pink aesthetic. I really like uh, how that works. Um, just you know, I decided to just list out, like not list out really, but just map out some of the colors I use, like all of the colors I used here. Um, this is the entire character. Um, let me know what you guys think of the character down in the comments below. But moving on back to the pens. Um, so okay, the pens themselves, the color, the color range A on this 40 pack is really good. Uh, you get a really good range of colors. I just feel like uh, there's a lack of browns. Like really, um, the the only browns we really get are not really browns at all. This is probably the darkest brown color, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a lack of brown in the selection. But overall, I think it's uh, the color selection is really good. Um, again, um, my only complaint, obviously, is that my black acrylic paint pen just does not want to work um, I even switched out the nib once but it still refuses to work so I think uh, probably it's an older marker and the paint seems to be dried up so that's probably why it's not working uh, moving to the pros uh, it's really thoughtful of them to include extra nibs that's really good in case you know your uh, original nib is too rough or it's frayed or it's drying out you can always replace it I'm just gonna put this back in here um, they're really affordable. Uh, they were about 1800 INR, uh, which is about $25, 25 US dollars. Uh, so, and for a pack of 40 of these, that comes out to about like 62 cents uh, for one marker, which is pretty reasonable when you think about it because Posca's Posca pens are really expensive. Um, and although, yeah, they're not as opaque as the Poscas I've seen, but overall, for the price, the quality is really good. The color selection is really good. Um, I would definitely recommend them. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, um, and if you're going to consider buying this. Um, thank you all so much, so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.